Hello, I'm John Paul and I'm here at Rimmer Brothers today to service his Range Rover P38. Rimmer Brothers have produced his parts catalogue for the Range Rover P38. As you can see, this is a pretty comprehensive parts catalogue and it covers all the parts that you're going to need for the Range Rover P38. I'm first going to replace the air filter. This is the new one. Put it to one side. There's two little clips onto the airflow meter. Just unclip those and then there's two other clips on the air filter housing. And then there's two little lugs that the air filter housing sits into. So if you just pull the air filter housing out, lift it up, out the two little lugs there, remove the old air filter and place that to one side. Just make sure in the bottom there there's no leaves and debris. If there is, just make sure you get that out and blow it out with an airline or pick it out with your hands. And just fit the new air filter, sit it down in place. Same again, two little lugs under the back and as you sit it down just place it back in to its mounts like that reclip two little clips of the airflow meter and then we're done I'm going to change the spark plugs now obviously there's four on this bank and four on the other bank the other bank on this because it's got a gas conversion they are quite difficult so we're going to show you this side because it's just going to be too difficult to show the other side so just twist the plug lead be careful to pull it out of the way and then just get your 5 8 plug socket down there and I'm going to get in the way here so I'm just going to and then take the plug out and just be careful when you're putting the new plugs back in just make sure you start them by hand so don't, you don't cross thread them and then continue to do the others I'm going to change the pollen filter now or the cabin filter whichever one to call it there's two on this vehicle one just here and one identically the other side so just two Phillips screws one each side of the housing so if we just take those out <coughs> and then just remove the plastic cover just put that to one side and then you can pull out the filter which as you can see it's pretty well manked up on this uh, vehicle, so and now we're going to clean that out, clean all the leaves out, and then we'll refit the new one in the same way. Just push it back in, replace the cover. I'm now going to change the oil and filter, so I'm going to send it up in the air, and we'll uh, look at it under there. So sump plug and oil filter underneath. Okay, so here's the sump plug on the underneath the sump. You need a 15 mil socket to undo it. It's a good idea to run the engine to get it a little bit warm before you drop the oil, just to make sure that uh, you know it comes out a lot easier. Uh, and also, um, obviously, use the appropriate oil drainer to drain the oil into, and also make sure that you get rid of the oil to a proper place where you can. Just you know, obviously, you can be a little bit responsible about that. Off the sump plug. And we are going to put a, uh, a new washer on the sump plug as well. Let's take out the longest plug in the world. Into the drainer. Now I've retrieved the naughty sump plug from the uh, drainer. Luckily this one's got a mesh that didn't go into the oil. Put on the new washer and then just going to refit it all the way in. Now this one's talking up to 45 newton meters. So once we've done that, get the torque wrench, torque it up to 45 newton meters, and then we're going to take off the oil filter. The oil filter is tucked away up here at the front of the engine. Now there's several ways you can undo it. I mean, if it's loose enough, you can try and just do it with your hand. You can use some grips or you can use a filter strap. So just pop the strap around the filter, give it a tweak just to undo it, and then you'll be able to take it off by hand as soon as it's slackened off like that but make sure you've got the oil drain underneath because some oil will come out of that I've got the new filter I'm just going to get a little bit of the waste oil and just put a film on the seal before you fit it and just pop it back up spin it all the way on this is just hand tight so it wants to be relatively tight but it certainly doesn't want to be over tight so just do it with your hands wipe away the waste oil and then that's done 
Now you've got to fill it up with oil. The oil filler is just located next to the alternator. So unscrew the cap and then fill it up with oil. Once it's topped up, check it on the dipstick, make sure you've got the correct amount of oil in it, and start the engine, run for a couple of seconds, turn it off, and then recheck the oil on the dipstick. Then go back underneath and just check for leaks around the filter or around the sump plug.